A major setback tonight for people who use short-term home rentals to make ends meet. The Las Vegas City Council voted in favor of stricter rules in an effort to crack down on short-term rentals that end up being used as party houses. 13 Action News reporter David Schumann explains what it could mean for your neighborhood. This is video of a man confronting renters across the street. He says they've become a nuisance with noise and trash, and he felt powerless to stop them because they didn't live in the house. They were renting for a weekend. We've had so many incidents in the past that just got swept under the rug. Jewel Dixon shared this video with 13 Action News, and it was played at a city council meeting Wednesday. 27, 28 cars, 29 cars. Dozens of cars on his block. All of this, this party house problem, the council has decided to try to legislate it away. To rent out a house short term now, someone will need a special use permit. That'll cost more than $1,000. The renters who do everything right feel the vote washes away the whole crop of short term rentals just to get a few bad apples. Party homes ruin our business too. And we've had people come in and cause damage and it's very difficult to recover from that. Another question that was raised is, will these tighter restrictions even stop the party houses, many of which are unlicensed to begin with? The city council will be exploring the idea of constables to step in and enforce the laws. A former councilman has already reached out to some. They will work weekends. They will work, work weekend nights. But without, without neighborhoods, you don't have a city. So I don't, this is not easy. I feel like I'm in a parallel universe. Councilman Stavros Anthony said of the 1,000 homes in the city that are used for short-term rentals, only 150 are properly licensed. David Schumann, 13 Action News.